Okay, in this video we're going to talk about changing a decimal to a fraction. And um, we have two examples right here. Um, the first one says 0 0.4. We have, we're given that decimal and we want to make it a fraction. First thing you should notice is that if you were to properly read this, this would be in the tenths place. So this is read as four tenths. And that actually helps us a lot because if you can read this properly as four tenths, you know that you could already make that a fraction as long as you can read it. So four tenths, if we were to write it as a fraction, is simply four over 10. Um, and then if we just were, wanted to reduce that, which we always want to reduce that, it would be four divided by two. We can divide both these numbers by two and it would simply be two over five. And that's pretty much it. So to go from four tenths as a uh, decimal um, to make it into a fraction, read the place value, put it over that number, simplify it, and you get your fraction as two fifths. We're gonna try another one. Um, in this case, um, this is the tenths place, this is the hundredths place. So if we were to write this as a fraction, it would be, and it's a negative, negative 72 over 100, because it's negative 72 hundredths. And again, we're gonna divide. Um, this time we'll divide by four, because we know both of these are divisible by four. Okay, so negative 72 divided by four is actually negative 18. And 100 divided by four is 25. And that's it. So we have another example where we have a negative decimal turning into a negative fraction, right? We keep the same signs. You just, just read the place value, put it over that uh, place value. If it's 72 hundredths, you put it over the 100, simplify, and you get your fraction. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to give you another example. Sometimes you're going to have a decimal given to you where there's uh, a number in front of the decimal, on the left side of the decimal, um, and then some more numbers on the right. Well, first of all, how do we read this? This is negative five and um, this is tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. So negative five and 20 ten thousands is how this is read. So if I wanted to write that, it would actually be negative five, plus and 20 over 10,000. Okay, so again, it's just a matter of reading the place value, which is super important. Okay, so then what do we do? Well, we actually leave this negative five alone and the plus, we'll get to that in a second. We're just gonna reduce this fraction now. Well, I know I actually can cross out those zeros, can I? So now I have two over a thousand, and if I divide that by two over two, well, now I just have one over 500. Okay, so now I have my fraction. So 20, 20 over 10,000 becomes one over 500 when I simplify it. So now, again, I have negative five plus, I'm gonna take this number right here, this fraction, one over 500, and my final answer is simply negative five and one over 500, and that is my fraction. So pretty straightforward, it's just remembering that decimal means and, and is read with a plus sign. You could uh, separate those with the plus sign. Keep the whole number alone. Notice we brought the whole, the, um, the whole number on the left side of the decimal all the way down. We didn't do anything with that. We made the right side into a fraction and we just used place value to help us. We simplified it and then in the end we just brought the two together. And that's it. So um, again, it's all about practice and it's not, not really a big deal if you just practice.